in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and serene meadows, lived two neighbors, Elias and Clara. They had been friends since childhood. Their houses separated by a narrow cobblestone path. Their bond was unbreakable, and the villagers often admired their friendship, considering it a beacon of unity in the community. One fateful summer, a misunderstanding arose between Elias and Clara. It was sparked by a simple comment made in passing. But as whispers and interpretations spread through the village, the words morphed into something entirely different. Feelings of hurt and resentment grew between the two friends. And the cobblestone path that once connected their homes now seemed like a vast chasm of misunderstanding. Weeks turned into months, and the distance between Elias and Clara only deepened. Their once bustling conversations were replaced by silence. The villagers were deeply saddened by this rift and tried their best to mediate. But Elias and Clara were adamant in their conviction that they had been wronged. One day, the village announced a grand summer festival. The entire village was a flurry of activity. Preparing for the celebration, colorful banners adorned the streets, and the aroma of delicious treats filled the air. Despite the joyous atmosphere, there was a palpable void, the absence of the laughter that Elias and Clara's friendship had once provided. As the festival approached, an idea took root in the heart of the village elder, an old sage named Amara. She had watched Elias and Clara grow up and shared a close bond with both of them. Amara believed that the festival could be the perfect opportunity to mend their broken friendship. With wisdom and determination, Amara began crafting a plan. She approached Elias and Clara individually, sharing stories of their past adventures and the beautiful moments they had shared. Amara's words had a magical quality. They transported Elias and Clara back to a time when their friendship was strong and unshakable. The memories rekindled emotions that had been buried beneath layers of misunderstanding and pride. The day of the festival arrived, and the village was alive with festivities. Colorful lights adorned the trees. Music filled the air, and laughter echoed through the streets. Amara, with a knowing smile led Elias and Clara to a tranquil spot by the village pond. They were hesitant at first, but Amara's gentle encouragement and the nostalgia that enveloped them made them willing to listen. Amara began to recount stories of the beautiful symphony their friendship had once created. She spoke of the moments of joy, the support they had given each other during tough times and the countless adventures they had embarked upon together. As Amara painted a vivid picture of their shared history, tears welled up in Elias and Clara's eyes. In that moment, as the sun set over the village and the stars began to twinkle in the evening sky, Elias and Clara finally let go of their grievances. They embraced, and their tears mingled. Washing away the hurt and misunderstandings that had separated them for far too long. The festival continued around them. But Elias and Clara felt as though they were in their own world. A world where forgiveness and understanding had triumphed. The villagers, noticing the transformation, gathered around the reunited friends. Offering their blessings and support. From that day forward. Elias and Clara's friendship not only rekindled but flourished even more beautifully. Their bond became a source of inspiration for the entire village. A living testament to the power of letting bygones be bygones. They would often sit by the village pond, sharing stories and laughter, creating a symphony of friendship that resonated through the hearts of all who knew them. And so, the village learned a valuable lesson. That the threads of friendship are delicate and should be nurtured with understanding, forgiveness, and the willingness to let go of past grievances. Just as the sun rises anew each day, so too can friendships be renewed by the power of forgiveness, allowing bygones to truly be bygones.